is a friend of mine, Niall Gardner, foreign policy analyst and former aide to Margaret Thatcher. And he joins me now. Um, before I come to that meaty stuff, that conversation with Joe Hemmings, the behavioural psychologist, in a funny way informs the very conversation I want to have with you. Being told what to do by a government, as opposed to cherishing our freedoms to do what we want and what we don't want to do, I think is partly what's at the heart of the Tory government's current problems. That's a very good uh, point, Alistair, and thank you very much for having me on the show today. And what an extraordinary week uh, in British politics, and of course a, a disastrous week for the Prime Minister. And we could see a whole series of events unfolding that could transform the British uh, political landscape. Uh, and as you point out, uh, there's certainly a battle within the Conservative Party itself for the future of the party. Uh, there's a battle between uh, more, uh, I would say, wet elements and more Thatcherite elements for the future of the party. There are many MPs, of course, who fear that if Boris Johnson goes, the whole Brexit project will be threatened. Mm. Uh, there are some who fear that an early general election uh, could lead to uh, a far-left government taking power in the UK that actually reverses uh, Brexit. It won't be part of their platform in the election, of course, but once in power, a Labour SNP coalition could seek to fundamentally reverse the Brexit process and defy the will of the British people as well. So there, there are major concerns here on so many levels uh, across the board. And I've spoken to a, a wide range of senior figures within the, the Conservative Party uh, over the past few days uh, and uh, a wide range of, of opinions with regard to whether or not Boris should or shouldn't go. Yeah. Um, oddly enough, I don't want to spend too much time on that because who knows? I mean, you've got Liam Fox and, and Tim Loughton taking opposing views. But here's what I do want to ask you. And I mentioned uh, an era that we both know well because you worked for her and Ted Heath was a friend of mine. Um, Boris Johnson may or may not have given them a chance to fight this out. But it seems to me far more significant amongst the critics of Boris Johnson than booze and Partygate and the rest of it is that he's raised taxes, he's raised national insurance, he hasn't cut public spending and he has restricted some of our freedoms. Yeah, a good point, because ultimately, of course, uh, Conservative MPs will decide the fate of Boris Johnson. Uh, there are many MPs on the right who would traditionally support Boris Johnson, but are disillusioned with the direction uh, that this Conservative government has taken. For example, if you look at the significant rise in taxes, yes. you look at the environmental uh, programme, for example, that's viewed as very extreme, actually, by uh, Conservative Thatcherites. Uh, if you look at a host of other areas as well, where this government has failed to deliver, it has not necessarily advanced Conservative policies and principles. Uh, and I think that if Boris Johnson has any hope of surviving, he has to move to the right. Yeah. And he has to adopt traditional conservative policies and robustly advance those those policies, because if he doesn't, I, I think he has no no future as prime minister. Uh, it, it's interesting. Do you and you said you've spoken to a number of senior figures, and I know you are one of the, the best connected people still, though you're based across in the States these days. I can't see an obvious latter day Ted Heath more left, more interventionist, more corporatist, uh, any more than I can see a latter-day Margaret Thatcher. I mean, it seems to me that the Conservative Party is desperately trying to rediscover what its soul really is, which is why I hinted in my lead, and it may be that people out there think, well, tell you what, let's have Labour for a while while you go and sort yourselves out. Well, the Conservative Party has to stand for limited government. It has to stand for low taxes. It has to stand for economic freedom. It also has to stand for a very robust immigration policy that's going to secure uh, Great Britain's borders. And also, of course, Brexit is a huge part of the Conservative Party's identity mm. right now. Uh, and you have to have a, a British government in place that is going to ensure that Brexit is a tremendous uh, success. So on so many levels, the Conservative Party, I think, really needs to understand fully uh, what it stands for and advance policies that reassure those who voted for the Conservative Party that they have a Conservative uh, government yeah. in place. And a yeah. lot of Conservative voters are very, very disillusioned at the moment with the party. And that's a big yeah. element, I think, behind the scenes with regard to the, the huge uh, problems that Boris Johnson faces, not just Partygate. But let's stick with the successes or potential successes if we come to that point as well. Um, I totally agree with you about tax and spending. That's on Rishi Sunak's 
what? Yes. One of the leading contenders. I totally agree with you on Brexit. And Lord Adonis has said, you know, get Boris out, get Brexit out. Um, whereas he still clearly wants to get it done. And getting it done, not least Northern Ireland and the protocol, is on Liz Truss's watch. But Boris says he will take charge of immigration. This is real power struggle on real policy. Yeah, I think that, you know, the Conservative leadership race, if it comes to that, uh, is going to be a, a real knife fight on so many fronts. Uh, and uh, you mentioned Rishi Sunak, of course, one of the key uh, contenders. He has overseen a big expansion of government power, power a huge increase in taxation, a fall in economic freedom. Uh, Liz Truss is certainly presenting herself as the main uh, sort of candidate on, on the right at the moment. And I think she certainly is a more popular figure among grassroots uh, conservatives. Mm. Uh, but you will have other key contenders uh, as well. Uh, but I think that it's vital that whoever takes over the future of the Conservative Party stands for conservative principles and understands the, the leadership lessons of Margaret Thatcher as well. And Margaret Thatcher always said, you know, we have to understand, listen to the beating heart of Middle England, otherwise we're going to lose elections. And Margaret Nicely Thatcher put. won three general elections in a row. Yeah. Uh, and she was, uh, you know, a fantastic leader who led through principle yeah. and a clear set of conservative... Right. And on ideology was a lady not for turning on many Ab other absolutely. things. Absolutely. Uh, Niall, great insights and always great to catch up with you. You come and see us any time. My pleasure. Passing through. Good Thanks very much, Thank Adam. Thank you so much.